there have been so many wonderful experiences at the festival and I think the masterclass has to be the highlight. And within that masterclass have been wonderful classes and demonstrations. And I do remember my friend and colleague, Damien Pinlay, gave an absolutely memorable class on charcuterie. All of the Melbourne Food and Wine Festival experiences have been fantastic and have been memorable. Things that stick out are the interaction with the international talent that comes into Melbourne, which is fantastic. We've had people like Carlo Cracco, Antonio Coluccio, Thomas Keller, um, just um, an amazing list of people which you get to meet and talk to, and um, that is a great exchange. Oh, I think one of my fun experiences at the Melbourne Food and Wine Festival was when Thomas and Heston came and we did uh, a really great interview together. So it was fantastic not only to have my great friends up there, but also to share what amazing professionals they are with, with the audience in Melbourne and let other Melbourne chefs and food identities really understand who these people were, not just great cooks, but great people. The, the best memory I have would be probably when at one stage they brought up all this group of chefs from the region where I come from in France. So you had, they were all three stars Michelin. There was Georges Blanc, there was Pig, there was uh, Lacombe from Lyon and all that. And they'd never been to Australia before and there was this great baker as well from Paris as well, uh, Poilane. And for me, I'd been here for about uh, probably six years and I haven't seen any of my friends since. So we had a great time together and I was so proud to show them what Melbourne is about. And still today when I go and see them, they still talk very, very highly about this wonderful city of Melbourne. My most memorable Melbourne Food and Wine Festival experience, um, there's been so many, I've had so much fun. I mean, as, as much as it's been so beautiful to meet some of the best chefs in the world, because they all want to be part of the Melbourne Food and Wine Festival, I have to admit, and I probably shouldn't say this on camera, but I had a lot of fun working with my mum last year on the festival. It was, it was pretty cool.